Hello, we're getting ready to start 6.1, Polygons of Geometry. Here's my email. Contact me for any information you need here. If you need some online tutoring, contact me. 6.1, Polygons Part 1. This is a two-part lesson. We're only going to cover uh, 6.1 Part 1 in this preview here. 28 points of classwork, 20 points of notes. Here is our first bell work here. Students, start in on that as you come in the classroom for classroom teachers, for homeschoolers. This is your warm up. What type of triangle is this? And then here, what is the measure of angle L? This is the answer here. It would be C here. What type of triangle is this? We have two congruent sides here, so isosceles, yes. Down here, here is your reasoning here. Angle measure of angle L is 35 degrees. Because we got a 55 here. What is the measure of angle L? <clears throat> the measure of K is 90. Triangle JKA measure of J is 55. So we need to have an interior angle theorem for a triangle is 180 degrees. We got a 55 and a 90. So how many more degrees do we need to make it 180? It's we need 35. Okay, this is slide one in our classwork. Each traffic sign below is an example of a polygon. Notice that each sign is formed with straight lines. So these are polygons here, the outside uh, pattern. Here as well, then here as well. Sign is formed with straight lines here. We don't have any curves or anything like that. Page two of your classwork. A polygon is a plane figure that is formed by three or more segments called sides. Each side intersects exactly two other sides at each of its endpoints. Each endpoint is a vertex. So we have vertex here and side vertex. At each endpoint is a vertex of the polygon. Page three of your classwork. Two vertices that are endpoints of the same side are called consecutive vertices. For example, polygon PQRST, R and S are consecutive vertices because they're adjacent to each other, and Q and R will be consecutive, and T and S will be consecutive. Page 5 of classwork. A segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon is called a diagonal. There's a good uh, vocabulary uh, definition there. Polygon PQRST has two diagonals here, P and R. As you notice, you just go to T and R diagonals here. There are two non-consecutive uh, vertices. They're, they're connecting two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. So RP and RT, so RP, RP and RT are diagonals, okay? Here is your vocabulary, students. In your own words, define these two terms here. In your own words, define these two terms here, vertex and Example one, identify polygons. Is a figure a polygon? Explain your reasoning. Yes, the figure is a polygon formed by four straight sides, so each side is straight. Okay, this one here, is this a polygon? No, the figure is not a polygon because it has a side that is not a segment or a line segment. This side here <clears throat> is not a line segment. And no, is this figure? No, the figure's not because two of the sides intersect only one other side. So you have a gap here. This is not a polygon. There's no vertices up here. <clears throat> yes, the figure is a polygon uh, formed by six straight sides. So each one of these sides are straight. 
so it is a polygon. Guided practice here <clears throat> is a figure of polygon. Explain your reasoning. Is a figure of polygon. Explain your reasoning. Students, do this one. Teachers, give your students about three, four minutes on this. The figure is not, I mean, I just throw that one in, but this one here, figure is not a polygon because it has side that is not a segment and then the same thing up here this is not a set line segment figure is not a polygon because it has side that is not a segment this side here is not a segment and for further lessons and worksheets email me here let's check out the work for this lesson 6.1 polygons part one Homework, 20 points, page one of your homework, page two of your homework, <clears throat> page three of your homework. Again, email me here and I'll get back at you. Thank you. <clears throat>